Thank you, my brother. I hear from my brother. Do you know back then you were the head tribe for the Northern Kingdom? The head tribe. You see this one? This right here? Can I record it? Can I record yes. it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Please do so. Because you from the tribe of Ephraim. When the Bible is talking about the, 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 the children of Israel, or Ephraim is talking about you and all your brothers. Your tribe was the one that led the other tribe to the, to the part of America, Caribbean Island, Central, North America. Okay? Give me that, give me that in, in, in second answer. Let's give the brother a, a, a quick rundown about his history, because if I had to ask you, the Latino today, where they come from? What will you tell me? Sorry, if I were to ask you, your ancestor, before America, where were they before? They were Afro Latinos, so they come from the island. Okay. Well, in my, in my, in they from the island, but were they always in the island? Probably not. Probably not. Probably and guess not. what? You're right. We're gonna tell Except you. They don't teach you in school, anyways. Listen. It's all lies, anyways. All BS. Why? Because we are we falling into, uh, under the same curses. But that's a, that's a false image. That ain't the real thing. That ain't the real thing. Exactly. Exactly. Let 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 let's go to the Bible because we we understand the story about Christopher Columbus, right? Yeah, he was a he was a How did so. how did how did because back then there was we didn't have that type of technology in terms of like internet, satellite. How did you know Christopher Columbus? How did he know to come to the Americas, to the Caribbean Islands, to enslave your people? In 1492. Do you ever ask yourself that question? I never did, but that's a good ass question. Because today they, they have satellite, you know, they can see from the sky, but back then there, there was nothing like that. No. But somehow he knew he knew how to come to the Central America to the island to enslave your people. But we're gonna read that story. Why we read that story? Somebody uh, look, look up uh, that story for me. That story. Read. Second is chapter 13, verse 40. Those of the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. They said the, the, what's the name, my brother? Louis. Louis. Louis? Yeah. Azariah Louis. The Bible says these are the ten tribes who were carried away captive. When he's talking about the ten tribes, he's talking from Ephraim and down. There's a tribe that I used to call Dan. That used to be part of those those tribes that, you know, absorb from this tribe. That's why I say In the time of Hosea the king, whom Salamanessa, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he, because, because we were taken captive by the Assyrians. Okay? We were taken up captive by the Assyrians. Right? And he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. Now they go to the Babylonian land. Captivity, right? So now we were the Assyrian, now he took them captive as slave. Read. But they took them counsel among themselves. After you know they many years pass, they take that counsel among themselves. Let's find out what you know that counsel was. That they will leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwell. Who told which country or which part of that hemisphere where no man dwell? He said they take that counsel to go to a country where no man, no man, no, no you know, mankind dwell. Who do you think that place is? How do they call the America? The new world. The new world. Why? Because the America wasn't occupied before. Because when you look at the map, everybody was in the, the Africa and Asia area. The East Coast, the East, the East atmosphere. In the hemisphere. The West Hemisphere wasn't, you know, occupied by nobody. That's why they call the Western Hemisphere the New World. Why they call it the New World? Because nobody was living in the Western Hemisphere. No, the folks, right? That they might dare keep their statutes which they had never kept in their own land. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. But the most high then showed signs for them. Now they left the, the Assyrian country 
The ten tribes decide to go to a place where no man can dwell before, right? Because our homeland is Israel, Jerusalem, right? And had still the flood till they were passed over. But through that country, there was a great way to go. Name? Meaning they go around the Africa island, the ocean island, you know, Africa continent, to the America. Okay, I'm trying to paint the picture because we don't have that sign that has the, uh, the map. Read. We have it? Namely, of a year and a half. It took, it took you guys a year and a half to do that travel and book. Read. And that same region. Is the, the same region that it took a year to travel to. It's called Osiris. It's called what? Osiris. The ten tribes of Israel will dwell, observing the laws of Moses until the time of the restoration. According to Second Ezra, chapter thirteen, verse forty-five. That's the verse. That's the chapter. That's the verses we just read for you from the Bible. But continue. Columbus. Who? Columbus. Who? Columbus identified America with this land. You see how Columbus knew how you were in that area in the Caribbean island, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, because he read the Bible. He read Second Ezra and understood. It was prophesied that you're going to come to this land, your people. That's how he was able. They have a movie, an old movie called 19, uh, 1492. 1492? Yeah. The Conquest. Conquest. The Conquest. Is that 1492. How it, 1492, the Conquest. The old movie. Where, you know, the, 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 the French guy, he, he played a role. You know, when the French asked him, how do you know, you know, where the, you know, children in Israel are? He said, you know, Ezra. He, he mentioned Ezra because they read the book of Ezra. That's how he knew where you guys are. And that's how he made his walk, voyage to come here. Not because he was looking for, for gold, no. He came here especially to enslave you guys. This nation is family. This nation is community. This nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.